Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Saturday, February 7th, and it's mailbag time. Seems to be a popular thing, and uh, I figure I might as well show you what I received in the mail today. My knife, and we will see what we received. Okay, I think we're going to start with these small ones first. Let's start with this one from Edinburgh, Texas. Sorry about my furnace running, but hey, got to keep warm here in Ohio. So, So today, we received, let's see, Lumex LEDs, 5mm, red and green, diffused, bicolor PC mount. Well, this, this is so that we can set up lights. There we go. You know, on a railroad track, they have uh, lights so the train knows where to go or to stop. And there's what it looks like. Oops. There's a side view, bottom view. And the light looks like that, head on. And these particular LEDs, you put the power through it in one direction and it gets one color, and you put the power through in another direction and it gives you the other color. So next, we have this box, and it's from Ocala, Florida. And we have a couple of LM, a couple, let me see the bag nice. Uh-huh. LM 3900N IC chip. It is an op amp. And that's going to work with the LEDs in a circuit that detects light and dark. And uh, we'll set this up either today or during another video and show you exactly how that works. So that's pretty nice. I'm glad I got those. Okay. This is a Texas Instruments LM 358P and that is also an op amp. It's just a uh, 8 pin instead of a 14 pin. So that's what that is. That does the same thing. Smaller circuit. Okay, now we have this huge package. And we'll attack this one first. And this is a size AA or equivalent four cell holder, battery holder going to try that with one of the projects that I plan on building. And this This is a uh, 
5 amp range current sensor. Let me get you down there closer. And that chip is really, really hard to see. There we go. Alrighty, now I have to read it with my magnifying glass. This is a ACS712T. That is a Hall Effect sensor, current sensor. And of course, you connect it up VCC, 3.5 to 5 volts, ground, and your output signal is in the middle. So you connect your Hall, Hall effect sensor right off those screws. The TLC590NT is an IC LED driver. PWM control 28 dip and like it says it's an LED driver here we have another IC a ULN 2003 APC high voltage high current Darlington arrays the Chinese like the wrap Many, many things within a little package. So, we have some potentiometers. And these potentiometers are 5K ohm trim pots. This it is a NE5555 duty cycle and frequency adjustable module square wave. We have a photoresistor and it's a light sensor. It's a light sensor board. There it is. Light sensor board. As you can hear, my wood burning furnace just kicked in, and this board is a flame sensor board for heat. Flame sensor module wavelength 760 nanometers to 1100 nanometers. It uses an LM three nine five three nine an LM three nine three IR flame temp sensor. We have some N channel MOSFETs, IR FZ four 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 MOSFETs. Then we have this breakout board. And it's an Arduino sensor shield version 5.0. Digital analog module server motor. So you can hook up a lot of things to that. We have an XB shield. It's an XB shield. Four. Uh, it's an I/O sensor expansion shield, uh, version five for the Arduino. So we can put our XB right there, and control motors, as well as other items. Very nice. This is a relay board. 
to go up for you to see it all. Of course, a relay board. Let's see how what they call it here. It is an eight-channel, five-volt relay module shield for the Arduino Uno. Mig. Uh, 2560, 1280, arm pick, AVR, DSP. Very nice. So, when your uh, photo resistors and everything else are sensing things, it can cause a relay to be switched, and you're able to control other, more circuits with uh, higher currents coming off the relays. And that's it for mailbag today. So you guys have yourselves a nice weekend and I'll talk to you later.